In this tutorial series on Tenor ADA, I am going to demonstrate VI characteristics of NMOS. Okay. So click on S Edit. Select File, New, New Design, click on it. Write the name of our design and most vi ok add at the library here see the library my document tenor ada also tenor tools and library and choose the all all open ok uh, our library types are coming uh, yeah these are the library in the library resistor, capacitor, MOS, uh, voltage source, ground, terminal, etc. are there. Okay. Click on the cell, new view. Here you can name it on the. Okay. Press the minus C, uh, minus, uh, minus key to adjust the view. Okay. So. Select the device, click on NMOS and click on Instance and your device is coming. So for better view, uh, press the plus sign. Okay. Done. So other component, the voltage source. Uh, here, the types of voltage source. Okay. But uh, I'm using DC voltage. So uh, click on instance and put there and there this for the uh, drain to source voltage and this for the gate to source voltage done ok other is the miscellaneous is the ground terminal instance and put here for the ground ok done so now connecting them click on the wire terminal and bulk and uh, source connecting each other ok so connect the train term uh, gate terminal to this one and the drain terminal to the drain voltage source now change the property of the voltage source and uh, press escape to deactivate uh, to deactivate uh, and deactivate um, wire ok click on the voltage source here the voltage source name and the value so here we can change the name name its drain to source voltage ok then to sales voltage supply of kg next is the VDS so in bold VDS ok value chain so here voltage source name uh, get to source voltage get to source voltage and the value uh, we selecting the variable ok uh, variable is a VGS alright so uh, we are going to observe drain current so choose the drain pro uh, current probe here is the print current command so it enable the current probe so first we select the some data to change so here is the TC and there is the transistor name here is the transistor name and MOS so we start with the right M N MOS uh, that one okay so 
it is done. Oh, my mistake. Again, done after placing it. So TC and again MN moves one. So here it is. Okay. So everything okay. Done. Now save our design. Save the library. Here the command window. Show the status. What we doing? So here the check design. Zero error. Zero warning. Good. Zero zero warning. Uh, click on a wire and highlight the nets. Stop simulation. Uh, set up for the simulation. Here's the library file. Choose the library file. And uh, library file is the technology. It is a 0.25 micrometer technology for MOS. And write the after library TT. Okay. Now we choose the parameter. There are the two parameter VGS. Here the value is uh, three volt. Okay. Uh, okay. Next is the VDS. VDS. So we can change the value and observe the output in the corresponding. Here is the value 5. Okay. Okay. DC operating point analysis. Nothing to write. Transistor Fourier analysis. A yeah. transient for uh, transist uh, transient of Fourier analysis. Stop time is 100 nano. Uh, maximum time step is 10 nano. So here is the 10 step. Okay. DC sweep. So it is a necessary step. VDS start value is zero. Stop value I think I take four four volt. Uh, step zero point four volt or ten step. Here the VGS start value zero volt. Stop value three volt. Step size 0 0.3 volt, okay, and it's linear, so everything is gonna. Uh, so, here's the show the status. So, start simulation, click on it, and uh, ready to observe the output. Here, the T spice window is open. See, stick uh, so it's done. No, if everything is right, the form window will be open. Yeah, here the end most. VI characteristics. Okay, it shows the drain current. It shows the uh, VDS, and uh, this for the uh, get to source voltage. So this is done. Here there's some uh, no need of this. Okay, so. Thank you.